everybody, John here. Welcome back to Catbird Hill. So I've been wanting to do this video for a little while, uh, and I just haven't taken the time, but I wanted to do a almost 30 hours now review on my new Gravely ZTHD 52 inch zero turn mower. Now, some of you might remember that earlier this year uh, in previous videos, I explained that we were gonna make a big shift here on Catbird Hill. For years, for 17 years to be exact, we had a wonderful machine, a Kubota BX23 that did everything. It had the loader, the backhoe, a 60 inch deck belly mower, and that was our everything machine for this whole property. And that's what I cut uh, the grass with for, for years. And it did a great job, but you know, for obvious reasons, you can only go so fast on a tractor, it has, doesn't have zero turn capabilities. And so I decided then to separate the tasks with our equipment and we decided to upgrade the tractor to the L2501 and then create a separate machine uh, purchase for grass cutting. And I decided on the Gravely. So just wanted to talk a little bit about why I selected this machine because there are tons of others, as you know. Uh, you know, I, they're, and they're all good. I mean, you know, every one that I checked out, I was very happy with. I thought, you know, it was a great machine. But there was a couple of, there were a couple of specific reasons why I chose the Gravely. Uh, number one, their reputation's unbelievable. You know, Gravely is a pioneer in farm and lawn equipment. Uh, they have a lot of patents uh, that uh, were uh, notable years and years ago when the company first started. They've got a great track record. Uh, they're typically uh, sold through local dealers, uh, as, and I purchased this one from a dealer that I have been working with for years, for probably 20 years or more now. Uh, I purchased a lot of equipment from them, not just Gravely, but I, they're a steel and echo dealer. Uh, they also sell Aaron's equipment. And you know, as is the case with a lot of family-owned dealership businesses, the service is just phenomenal. So, you know, I'm a big believer in small business. I own my own small business. These folks are actually neighbors of mine in the community. Um, so we, you know, we have a vested interest in supporting each other. And I think that's, we all should think more like that. Uh, that's what keeps this country going. So that was number one. I was very impressed with, you know, just the fact that the Gravely reputation, uh, the quality, I, I was very, very happy with. Uh, you know, when you look at the the gauge of the steel. Uh, I was just very, very pleased with you know the thickness of the mountings for the wheels. The welds were really nicely done. Just a nice, nice finish on the machine. Now this is actually not the, the ZTHD series is not the the pure professional series that Gravely sells. This is sort of what they call the prosumer, the hybrid blend between the consumer level and the pro level. And in assessing my needs here, you know, commercial to me, particularly when it comes to lawn care equipment, is everyday usage. And I just don't get everyday use. I don't have everyday usage. I cut maybe three days a week uh, on average. And, you know, I'm very careful. I'm the only user of the machine, so I'm not, a, you know, I'm not, uh, I, I, I don't abuse it. I take really good care of it. So, you know, in conversations with the salespeople, to their credit, they did not push me toward, you know, commercial based on my needs. Even though I do cut a lot of grass here, and I was just cutting a small strip to demo, but um, as you can see, you know, we've got a lot of trees as well. And boy, that's a, that's a great advantage to have a zero turn, you know, just trying to negotiate these trees and it was just a bear with a tractor it was slow it was you know kind of bulky and cumbersome so just a lot of trees to mow around here and then of course we've got a couple of field areas uh, this one here's probably the biggest continuous stretch of grass that we have and kind of goes beyond those trees in the distance there. But anyhow, you know, for my needs, uh, price point wise, this, this machine was just perfect. You know, I, the, the commercial ones are definitely a step up price wise, as, as most people know. 
So a couple of other things that I really liked about the Gravely, and I'm not sure on all of the details of this, but I did learn that not too long ago, maybe a couple of years ago, um, Gravely hired an engineer from Harley Davidson Motorcycles to design, completely redesign the seating system on all of their zero turn equipment. And this seat is really, really comfortable. Now, you know, seats are like a lot of things, they're very individualized, but uh, this seat for me is really comfortable. I'm six foot two, about 190 pounds. I fit perfectly in this seat. Some of the other ones I, I've sat on, when I was checking out, when I was in the shopping mode, I just never felt comfortable. I just couldn't get the seat right, no matter if I moved it forward or backward. This one just felt really good, and I'm just really happy with the, the finish of this. You know, nice double stitching here. Uh, just really, really well made, uh, you know, seat, and, you know, obviously very comfortable. Some, some other really nice things I liked, uh, the, the, the simple foot pedal, uh, or the, the sort of a, like a treadle here, I guess, that you push forward to raise the deck if you're going up over a hump or a stump or something like that. You see that coming, you want to get the deck up in the air. You know, a couple of the models I looked at, other manufacturers had hydraulic raising systems, and I, that's the last thing I wanted. I just didn't want another system, mechanical system, to have to maintain, particularly hydraulics. There's nothing simpler than just, you know, pivots and levers here. Uh, very easy deck height change system. I really like the the rear frame, the uh, the motor itself, the engine sits fairly low on the chassis, of, uh, you know, kind of down low center of gravity. It's a very, very stable machine. It's certainly not very hilly where we are now, but I do have some pretty steep hills that I cut. Have had no issues at all uh, in using this thing for three months in, in, multiple, in, in a lot of different conditions. Uh, the other thing that I really like, well, and the engine too, just the, this is the Kawasaki 23 horse. Seems like it's got plenty of power. The hydraulics, the steering here uh, is really, really nice and sensitive and smooth. It's just feather touch, uh, very, very easy to use. I had never used a zero turn, you know, in, for, you know, I never, the first time I ever uh, hopped on one when I was trying them out. And this was very easy to learn. It was kind of user-friendly for a beginning user like myself. And so overall, just extremely, extremely happy with this. I couldn't recommend it highly enough. Now again, you know, th that's for my needs. That's for our property here, uh, which is not, you know, what everybody needs. So, you know, obviously you really do have to analyze what your needs are. And, and you, you know, that's one of the advantages of going to a company like Gravely, you know, you're, you're dealing with a, you know, company that's interested in having you as a customer for life. Um, so, you know, th that, that really impressed me. I felt like they really wanted my business and they wanted me to be really satisfied with what I ended up with here. So the other, the other major consideration when I was looking at the equipment was price. Um, you know, I've got a lot of other equipment needs. You know, we just bought a, a big tractor with implements. There are other things that we're going to be looking to add to the property in the near future. So I'm trying to keep everything in balance. Out the door, this was, I believe, just under $5,300. Uh, that was a price that I was very comfortable with. That also, they threw in some accessories, which uh, I don't have hooked up right now, but uh, an attachment to uh, bag grass in the back if I want. I probably I, I won't I never bag grass, but that's for leaf pickup in the fall, as you can imagine. With all these deciduous trees, we have a tremendous leaf pickup job in the fall, so uh, that that comes with it. And the other thing I really liked about the uh, the Gravely is that the uh, the service is is wonderful. Uh, in fact, one of the technicians who actually works on their zero turn equipment lives just five minutes from me, and you know, the, the reality is he can he can be over here in five minutes. If I need to get this thing serviced, he can load it onto a, a rollback and, and take it into the shop. So there were just a lot of things that all sort of came together that made me feel really good about this purchase. So, you know, if you 
if you haven't checked out Gravely before, please go onto their website and read a little bit about the history of the company. It's a pretty fascinating history. And uh, there's actually a, uh, there's a Gravely club, I believe, uh, that, you know, it's people who have accumulated some vintage uh, Gravely equipment and, and restore it and keep it operating. Some pretty neat implements that Gravely pioneered over the years, so you might want to check that out as well. But I just wanted to do this video to talk a little bit about the Zero Turn. We've seen, you've seen some video footage of, of me using the Kubota, but this is the first time we've gotten the Gravely on the, on the camera here. Thanks again for watching. We really appreciate you guys uh, following us. Please, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. Make sure you hit that bell icon so that you know when we upload a new video. And until next time, it's John here from Catbird Hill. Got to get back to cutting, make some hay while the sun's shining because we've got rain coming later today. Take care, everybody.